Hi, this is Julie Gallagher from Get on the Map Local Search Marketing. Yesterday I was online and I saw that Facebook had introduced a new sharing tool, a change in the recommendations function, and it's called the recommendations bar. And you'll see right down here, it's a um, kind of a, it's almost like a pop-up that shows my visitors other things that they might be interested in and I thought this would be a really cool thing to to install on my website and so I want to share with you how I did it. So the main article that I got my information from was the HubSpot blog and it told all about why did Facebook come up with this new tool and how beneficial it would be three times more engagement than their previous tool and the first thing that you need to do in order to install this on your WordPress blog is to get yourself a license for a Facebook app and the URL is developers.facebook.com slash apps on that page you'll see in the left hand column a list of all the Facebook pages that you're an admin of and in the upper right hand column there's a button that says create a new app so you come in here you fill in the app name probably something that relates to your blog but I've already done that and when you um, complete that then they give you the app ID and the secret code you have to ins insert yourself what is the URL of the website where you want to use this and you have to use the same contact email that you use with Facebook on a regular basis. On my website I have several blogs installed that talk about specific social media platforms and so I want to install this now on my Facebook blog so I'm already signed in and so I'm just going to go to the dashboard and then add a new plugin the first time I looked for this Facebook plugin I had kind of a hard time finding it so if you have a hard time remember that the plugins aren't just you don't just go by the keyword you can also go by an author and so the author of this plugin is actually Facebook so if you use the author it's really easy to find but now it seems to be coming up so I'm gonna install this yes I'm definitely gonna install it and I'll activate the plugin and now I need to configure the plugin all of this is instructional so I'm gonna go right down to the bottom since I've already read it and my app ID my secret code and my name you see when I made my name I had spaces and it doesn't like that so it just took them out so that was no problem and you have different options of what you can set but I only want to add the recommendations bar I don't want to do the other things and I don't want the the trigger relates to how much of the page does the reader have to scroll in order to have the the recommendations bar come up so I'm gonna say that they need to go to 20 percent of the page and that when they're on the page for 10 seconds they'll get it and it's gonna show on all the posts and pages so the settings are saved and when I go to a page on my blog let me refresh this and scroll down a little bit
there it is. So I hope that is helpful to you. If you do have any questions or you'd like to be on my mailing list on on the page there is let's come on up I'm on Twitter at Julie Gallagher or you can contact us hit that and and fill in the button fill in the information and say hi so thanks very much and best of luck to you.